um, I saw a video uh, maybe a week or two ago. Uh, I'm, now I'm thinking about it. I should have grabbed the clip, but it just it just popped into my head right now, so <laughs> so it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was a video of uh, of Arnold. Uh, it absolutely is with the this and the that and the things of this nature. Yes, it was Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he was talking mm -hmm. about. Uh, I have this um, a school. Uh, I need the, we can't get we can't get the people to go to the school because uh, we we need funding. That's that's where you come in. You, you help us fund the kids. We give the kids the the books and the pencils and the, the things of that nature, and then they go to work and they they learn. And he's telling this whole thing, and he's saying like, um, ultimately, you know, my name is associated with this, but I need you people to fund it. And I'm thinking, dude, you're like a multi multi millionaire. You have more money than you know what the fuck to do with. And you're asking people to fund this? Get the fuck out of here. It's the same with these, the, 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 the royal family, you know. During this time of... Get, you have trillions <laughs> of pounds. Fucking trillions of pounds. You could fucking fund the NHS to fucking luxury for the next 200 years. And, and it won't even make a dent in your fucking bank account. And you're on TV yeah. bitching. It, it, it drives me mental. Yeah, I mean, the Queen owns more land. I think I think she's the wealthiest person, but it's all locked up in land. She could sell a few fucking acres That's here. Bullshit! And there. She she's got. They I read this years ago that the royal family of of the royal family of England that they they, mm. they have estimated mm. between fourteen and eighteen trillion pounds. Fucking hell! Yeah, right. It no, wouldn't no, surprise no, cause, me because that's wealth that's been amassed over hundreds of years. Yeah. Yeah, and and you know that I mean um, they go back um, a thousand years as well. Um, is it a thousand years? Not quite a thousand years. It's about roughly nine hundred and thirty-four years um, when William the Conqueror first came over. And um, you know, apart from a brief uh, time during the English Civil War where uh, it was temporarily a republic before being taken over again by the same royals, um, right the way back to William the Conqueror. Um, it's the same family. It's the same line, mm -hmm. all the way back to 1066. It's crazy, uh, dude. Yeah. When you think of having, like, just a family, you know, your family, mm -hmm. you know, your aunts, your uncles, your nephews, that the family itself mm -hmm. has that much wealth. Yeah. And you're living in a in a country where you know um, certain institutions are failing, not because they're not great institutions, but just because they don't have enough money to succeed. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'd think to be like, you know, you, you could go, Philip, um, can one part with at least one trillion pounds? You know, you know what I mean? Just uh, one, yeah. just just uh, out of the out of the eighteen trillion you got, how about you make eighteen just like seventeen, and and you take one trillion. Mm -hmm. And you you fund some shit to make the lives of the humans around you a little bit better. Oh yeah, well they don't they don't um, care about us, do they? <laughs> but thing, but you know, know, it, to me that's like madness. Yeah. If if I had that much money, I mean, mm. the things that you you could, you could change in the world would be staggering. Yeah. And the same thing with that fucking piece of garbage, Bill Gates. He's a multi-billionaire. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah. And he says, well, the the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, we donate hundreds of millions of, of dollars every year to charity. Yeah, mm. but you have hundreds of billions, Bill. Yeah, I, I think mean, the trouble is if he gives too much of it away, then he's um, he's going to end up with um, you know his money going down only into the mere hundreds of millions. And when you're that rich, that makes you feel broke. <laughs> it really oh does you know, it's fucking madness dude it's absolute fucking lunacy there is this kind of thing though the higher you go the harder it is to fall so the more money you have the more yeah, resources you have exactly the, the closer poverty looks even if it, you're never going to live to be that poor you know even if you kind of you know have to be frugal you know I mean you know I have to say if uh, say for instance either after whatever became um became rich because of crypto or something like that mm -hmm. we'd still um only have a thousandth or a ten thousandth of the money of the richest people in the world yeah and we'd be grateful because um you know we wouldn't have to struggle in the way that we'd struggled before but at the same time yeah if the richest people in the world had to think about being as poor as us as rich mm -hmm. as we feel we are 
they're almost on the streets in their view because the, the higher you go, the really is the harder it is to fall. The more money you have, the more you fear you're going to run out of it. Mm-hmm. And, and and me, I mean, I'm just thinking about this right now. It's like me saying, "Yeah, you should give your money away to help people." And I'm thinking that's very socialist of me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. like who who am I to tell you what you can do with your money? You know what I mean? It's like yeah. it's like that, that's your money. You you do whatever the fuck you want with it. It's nothing. It's none of my business, right? So the the queen has eighteen trillion pounds, and me yeah. and, I, and I'm here saying, well, you could take a small percentage of that and save so many people's lives, but it's kind of hypocritical for me to tell them what to do with their money. It's their money. They should decide what to do. <laughs> So well, all it does, it's, you're aware of that. <laughs> yeah, so, it yeah. just it just means it just illustrates that that they're pieces of shit because there's many humanitarian, you know what I mean? That mm. they they could do it of their own volition and not have somebody you know force them to give what what their own personal money to do whatever. Well, uh, and and that's what socialism is, right? You know, you're you're helping yeah. the, the helpless, but with a gun to your head. Well, I'm right. I'm very much um I'm very much a kind of a capitalist. I wouldn't call myself an an anarcho capitalist, but mm-hmm. I would say that I have um a bits of that in me, if you like. I'm very much an anarchist, and I'm very much a free marketeer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my attitude is, I know there's many millionaires and billionaires, but I prefer it if they are not philanthropists, mm-hmm. because um I don't think you know rich people who want to do good don't do good. They actually do bad. Yeah. Um. They. The, you know, they're, they're so seriously misguided in their do-gooding that they actually do some really bad things. And it's Bill Gates's desire to be philanthrop- philanthropic is going to be absolutely bloody disastrous um, because of uh, certain things that he believes uh, as he does what he does and as he funds what he funds. Mm-hmm. Um, and I suppose the same goes with uh, George Soros. He probably believes in his own heart, if well, the stone where the heart should be. <laughs> that he's being kind and philanthropic <laughs> while he's doing what he's doing. But well, they again, all, they, they yeah. all, none of them believe that they're bad guys. They all believe they're the good guys. And yeah. I mean, even Hitler thought he was doing the right thing. You know, it's not <laughs> like he wouldn't lie awake at night thinking, fuck, I'm evil. You know, he, yeah. he wouldn't, you know, he'd be thinking, well, you know what? I'm, I'm doing the right thing. Mm. You know, what I'm doing is, is, is just, it's correct. I'm doing the right thing. So Bill Gates and fucking Soros and all these other rich fucks, they yeah. they truly believe that they're the good guys and that they're, they're doing the right thing. 